Hello everyone, Tom of the Tank here. Um, I've been experimenting with um, ways of uh, uncoupling locals from the wagons or vice versa, wagons from the locals. And I've come up with um, a system which seems to work quite well. I'll just show you, I've used my hands to push it. There we go. So as you see, Let's move this wagon back a bit, touch more. There we are. So it, it picks it up, no problem at all. And there we go. There's the local disconnected. And it's done with magnets. Um, what I'll do, I'll just show you briefly the underside, hopefully. The drop down bar, which would normally be used on an uncoupler has been bent 90 degrees and a two millimeter diameter magnet super glued onto the turned up part of the the bar um, i used a, a small file i took off the paint uh, super glue gel one drop and uh, the magnet stuck itself with its uh, magnetic qualities and the super glue holds it in position so that's on a, a Hornby uh, D type coupling or a D type coupling um, I found a problem with uh, the, the the metal Hornby D couplings and that is when you attach a magnet okay this one's been removed when you attach a magnet and it lifts up on the uncoupler the hook i'll have to use my it's not very good using fingers the hook would stay in the upright position because the magnet was attracted to the metal frame so what i've done i've removed the plastic uh, decoupler from the other end and fitted that onto the back of the J94 so I've eliminated the magnetic influence of the decoupling because it's plastic so as you can see it goes over and drops down now because there's nothing to attract a magnet it's only plastic so again these obviously they're positioned so that uh, the, mag the magnetism is working opposing each other they're not attracting so I found that the space between the railway sleepers is just it's a tight fit but you can actually just push the magnet in um, and I've actually put a, just a small drop of super glue just to hold it but um, it's been quite successful I've been operating this for quite some time and nothing's moving the thing you have to take into consideration is the position of the magnet on the track has to be to one side not in the center because if you look at the the hook it's not centrally positioned it's off to one side so as the magnet passes over it unhooks if the magnets in the middle the hook can tend to miss it and it won't it won't work so well so what I've done, I've been experimenting with a few various types of coupling. Here we have uh, a NEM hook type. And again, this had the drop down bar, which I bent up 90 degrees and super glued the magnet on. So this one will actually clear. I've tried it, clears very well. Here's another coupling. This is a, a European type coupling. Um, there's quite a few different uh, mixes of European couplings. There's Pico, Lima, Marklin. Uh, they, a lot of the manufacturers seem to have their own style of coupling. But this one already had like a 90 degree bend. So all I've done is super glued the magnet underneath. 
You know what I was trying to show you? Is a wagon that I've let's hope I got the uh, direction right this time. So here, uh, let's have a look. Who made this one? Ah, uh, this is a Lima. Okay, this is a Lima. So hopefully this will work now. There we go. So as you can see, it will lift the coupling. Now again, if this is with a loco which only has the hook, not the actual ring lock, this will work. But if you have two wagons with the same couplings, you'd have to have two magnets. And I doubtful whether actually you probably need four magnets. It would be doubtful if both of the uh, rings would lift. But by using just one, it seems to uh, work okay. So there we are. Let's see if I can pan in on it. There's the magnet stuck underneath the 90. And if I t turn all the way over, there we go. See, it clears. There's no problem at all with it uh, uh, binding or blocking anything because it's such a small magnet. So there we go. So um, basically what it is, I've got some sidings and I've got the um, the Hornby uh, uncouplers. Um, but as everyone knows, they're big and sort of, I wouldn't say ugly, but um, this, this system I've dreamt up is it's not very noticeable. And if you had some um, uh, of the gravel between ballast between the, the tracks, there we are, you probably wouldn't notice at all. I put a bit of black magic marker on this one just so it shows up. Now then, just as the last, the last test. Here it is going over points. Still getting used to a slightly different control I'm using. Great for slow speed, but I have I have to be a bit more gentle with it. So there we go. It's passing over the points. The magnet clears it. Doesn't hit anything. So there we go. That's my latest um, uncoupling system, for want of a better word. Um, I be I was asked by somebody. Uh, to show the local with it fitted I'd already given a brief demo to him about how the wagon worked because he plans to make a shunting area and this will eliminate a lot of um, unsightly uncouplers so I hope this might help somebody thanks for watching bye now